Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we got some, another mail call, of course. We got some new stuff to open up and show you in the box. And then also, I've got some new stuff and some old stuff. Uh, let's start with the old stuff. Um, I don't know if I've shown these before. I may have. I did a video a long time ago. I think I had a lot less followers by any means. Uh, but these are like a whole pack of original old Dixie cups. And I got these from the Star Wars store some time ago. And all 100 of the cups are still present. The box is in great shape. Um, but yeah, I had different cool, different cups. Of course, you know, there's not a ton of these left in the world just because a lot of people that bought them, they used them and then they just threw them out. Um, but yeah, each cup, well, there's not a hundred different designs on there, but there was a bunch of different designs on these cups. So it's pretty cool to have some of these, uh, still. Mm, let's see how many different designs we can get through here real quick. Yeah, because there's a bunch of these old cups. And yeah. Pretty excited to get these when I did. I got a pretty good deal on them from Dustin over there when he did hook me up with these things. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you those real quick as far as some old stuff. And I'll show you one more old thing that I've got while we're at it. And this, this is old school 1977 Ben Cooper Stormtrooper Halloween costume. And this was, you know, typical of the kind of costumes you get back then. Of course, they're super cheesy, and the masks are super delicate. Like, uh, see, there's just a tiny little crack on this one, but this one's actually in pretty good shape for as old as it is. And, you know, like, like I said, most of these get super beat up, broken, um, miscolored, and all that. But, yeah, the mask is still in pretty good shape, but the costume itself has seen better days. I'm not sure what they were doing with this thing when they had it, but, see, this is the costume. And instead of looking like Stormtrooper armor, they put it like, you know, a character on there, kind of like this. And all the costumes like this were like that. Uh, but for some reason, this person who owned this prior uh, did something to the sleeves. Maybe cut the sleeves off. And then they kind of got the pant part a little dirty. I mean, I'm sure you could get that out with the right kind of uh, cleaning solution. But I didn't really want to mess with it too much and risk, like, maybe disintegrating the fabric on it or whatever else. But, yeah. Alrighty. But, yeah, I did a... Uh, I still haven't been able to do too much toy hunting lately. Uh, but I did find a couple of cool new Star Wars things. Um, of course, I found another one of these uh, Baby Yodas, the Baby Yoda Hot Wheels. So that was kind of cool, you know, so maybe make a little bit of my money back. But I did find a General Grievous one. So that was pretty awesome. General Grievous on the wheelie bike. I'm pretty sure this is like a one per case kind of scenario. So you can never find this. Of course, there's collectors all over the place. And then this one, I'm not quite sure what it is from, but it's called the Havoc Marauder. And it's a cool new kind of Imperial shuttle looking thing, but, you know, kind of more like dark and menacing looking. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty stoked to see that. I'm going to probably have to look up a little later what that is actually from. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the mail call because, yeah, I'm super excited to get some of these. As you know, I've been try trying to slowly put together a uh, set of all the older Green Lantern things. And I'm doing it as cheaply as I possibly can, you know. I'm not spending a ton of money by any means some of these. But yeah, slowly and surely, you know, maybe in a few years I'll have the whole set. I'm kind of waiting to get to, uh, get back to Comic-Cons because that way, you know, there's a bunch of sellers sometimes that have like, you know, like dollar boxes where you can get like comic books for a dollar each. And yeah, I'm hoping to one day kind of complete my set that way because that would be ideal and amazing. And yeah, Let's see, yeah, this seller did a pretty good job packing. Like I said before, I like those new uh, comic book shippers that they have these days. Because those are nice, because they keep the comics nice and minty. And that's what we like. Nice and minty. Which one is this? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is another uh, copy of Green Lantern number 59. The first appearance of Guy Gardner. Super excited. So now I have two copies of this. So I'm basically going to compare the two copies that I have. And whichever one I like best I'm going to keep and the other one I'm going to partner up with a bunch of my other Green Lantern doubles and sell it. Uh, but yeah, super stoked to see uh, that one because I was kind of worried because the guy on the shipping he didn't put any of the tracking in it. Basically didn't even say that it was shipped so I'm uh, super stoked to get that because I was getting a little worried. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, this guy is going to be the star of the new HBO Max Green Lantern show. So that's going to be skyrocketing in value here very soon. Especially if it gains like crazy popularity of the show. 
All right, let's move on to the next one. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, sorry, it's been tiring the last some odd days. Got the new baby, kind of slowly starting to catch up a little bit on more sleep. Starting to sleep a little better during the night, but still wakes us up pretty early. Um, and the lady's more tired though because she has to spend more time, you know, feeding the baby because that's basically what the, most of the time if the baby's complaining, that's what it wants. It wants mommy's food. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this one. This one packed, you know, pretty well too. Another one of those cool comic shippers. Let's get into this thing without busting up. And what do we got here? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Back to the Silver Age. Uh, Green Lantern, original Green Lantern, number 61. That's the 12 cent. And this actually is in a beautiful shape for what I paid for it. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to get these in like mint condition by any means. So of course it's got some spine ticks and a little bit of uh, corner issues, but you know, doesn't matter and I'm not going to get them graded, but I just like to have a solid cover with a nice color. Because a lot of times you see them with like super sun bleaching and all that. Um, but yeah, this one has a great color and it's got the original Golden Age Green Lantern on there. So that's pretty awesome. Alan Scott. And I've heard more recently too that he's going to be in the HBO Max show as well. So I'm wondering if they're going to break up the timelines or if they're going to have them in the same timeline. Uh, we will see. Yeah, super excited to get that. And then let's go on to this bad boy. We got in here. Okay, be easy, be easy. I'll tear it open like it's Christmas. Alright. Let's see. Not the best packing job on this one because it's definitely had potential for ruination. Uh, but luckily, postal workers were nice and careful with it. And it got to me with it, looks like without anything happening to it, any major flaws so far so good if we can just get into it let's see what oh yeah I opened up the wrong side all right yeah so here's another one from the silver age and this is get this out they kind of yeah not the best way to pack these so that's for sure but as it does leave room for air when you're trying to get it out um, but yeah green lantern silver age number 51 and as before yeah i looked up a bunch of these just to see how much they're really going for and i got this one for way cheaper than the rest of them because yeah like it said it's not in perfect condition there's definitely some a little flaws here and there, but the color is amazing and the full cover is there. So, pretty excited about that. Oh, except it looks like there's a little rubbing there. Uh, but I'm okay with that. You know, as far as most covers there, it's pretty good. And there's kind of a cool looking cover. Uh, crazy looking dudes on there. I don't even know who these guys are supposed to be. Uh, yeah, not sure uh, who those guys are, so I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit later. And moving on, let's go with this one. Now, I kind of knew what to expect with those ones, but I'm not quite sure what this one is. Um, but we will see. So I think I only looked up, when I looked up my tracking for I thought I was only going to get two packages today, but I ended up getting a little bit more. So let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I ordered these a while ago, and they finally showed up. And this is just a kind of newer uh, Green Lantern Corpse uh, subset. Like, it was a series of six uh, called Green Lantern Corpse Edge of Oblivion. And I only had one or two of these, but I didn't have these three. And this slot came with three, and they were cheap. So I was just like, yeah, got them for like a buck each, basically. So I pulled the trigger and got those, because, yeah, that's what I'm after. If I can get it for a dollar, I am excited. Because, uh, yeah, the cheaper you can put together those sets, the better. And that's kind of what the deal was with this one, is because this is the same thing where I got basically a big chunk of set um, very cheaply. And that excites me as far as trying to buy a bunch of these sets. You know, I kind of scour eBay for those cheap deals where you can get, like, a whole big chunk at once for, like, basically, you know, you know 50 sets to a dollar each comic. 
As I don't know, not a lot of people aren't super searching after Green Lantern right now because he's not the crazy uh, center of attention. Uh, but once that HBO series hits, that's going to be the price increase on most of these Green Lantern sets. So if we get into this, but this one, uh, I think uh, a lot of these lots too you buy, like I always end up with a couple of doubles, you know, stuff that I already have, but um, I get the rest of them that I don't have, and then I'll partner up those doubles with, say, that Gar Gar Guy Gardner first appearance and make some uh, money back. So that's sweet. So this is uh, Green Lantern Corpse Quarterly set, and this is number two, three, four, five, and six. There's number two. So these are cool because they're basically like annuals, and they're pretty thick. Um... And you get multiple stories in here. So you get, like, say, the Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern. And then you get a tale about Gnort. And you'll probably get, you know, a Guy Gardner story, a John Stewart story. As you go through those. And here's number three. Multi-story books. And I'm not sure how many pages these are supposed to be. Oh, 64 pages. So that's pretty good. So that's kind of like triple the regular uh, comic book. Maybe double. I'm not sure. I'm not really counting uh, pages usually. Oh, well, this one looks kind of cool. Got the dinosaur, got the babe, got the lantern. This will be an interesting read, I am sure. And oh, another story of Nort, Gnort, and Alan Scott. And let's see. And this one looks like, this guy looks like kind of Corona. I'm not sure if this is Corona. Corona's kind of one of the original bad guys uh, for the Green Lanterns. He's like one of the, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the, I forget. What am I thinking? The brain fart. Sorry. Moving on. All right, and this one actually is really cool looking. Uh, Jim, Jim Ballant was the artist. And I, he was always a really good artist. And it's kind of a cool rendition of Alan Scott there. Um, and who's this chick with the, Har the Harlequin? Unleashes the Fury of Alan Scott. Uh, the Harlequin, which is different than Harley Quinn. So maybe before they had a different chick that was named Harlequin. Uh, but not Harley Quinn. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't think that I really knew that. So that's something uh, I just learned with you. Uh, let's move on. There's two packages inside that package. So let's go on to the second one and see what we got here, which I think it's issue number one of that set. And then some of the some older ones that I don't have. Because the whole set was for Green Lantern Corpse comic books. Alright, so yeah. And these are a bunch of them that I don't have from like the end of the Silver Age. Uh, so here's Green Lantern Corpse number 205. So once the regular original Green Lantern Al Hal Jordan series kind of got to number 200, they switched over to the Green Lantern Corpse. So it kind of included a little bit of everybody. There's Guy Gardner there. Oh yeah, that's talking about his cheesy haircut before. Look at that cheesy bowl cut he has. It's just ridiculous. I'm super glad that they've changed it now. And here's another example of that. This is number 210. Another Guy Gardner cheesy haircut. Uh, but yeah, he's like the all-American guy at the time. And I guess, I don't know. I don't remember that haircut ever being cool. Uh, maybe that's just me, though. And here's number 219. Didn't have this. So we're pretty, pretty good with this set because so far, out of all these books that I've shown you so far, I don't have any of these. Uh, 223. Don't have this one. That's pretty cool. Looks like, oh yeah, the Guardian. That's what they are, the Guardians. See, Corona was one of the original Guardians, but he split off. He got outcast and, you know, basically was super resentful and basically created a lot of problems for the Green Lantern Corpse. Uh, 221. I don't think I have this one either. Actually, I might have this one. No, I don't have this one. Uh, so yeah, pretty good to get that. And then, oh, here's here finally we got to a double because I do believe I do have that one. Um, but that's okay. And then, oh, here we go. Uh, this one is Tales of the Corpse uh, number two, and I do have this one. But this is the first appearance of Sodom Yat and the Daxamites. And the Daxamites were basically, you know, the the offshoots of the Kryptonians. They had basically split off from Krypton, uh, formed their own planet, uh, became super like you know racist against anybody else from any other planet. So anybody that came to their planet, they killed. Um, but they didn't have a yellow sun. I think they had a red sun. So then once um, Sodom Yat left the planet, found a yellow sun, he basically gained the powers of Superman, and then also gained the power of the Green Lantern. Uh, so he's basically Superman with the Green Lantern ring, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, that's another first appearance of him. So that'll help me make a little bit of my money back on these lots. And then, oh, yep, here's a Green Lantern Corpse Quarterly number one, which is kind of a cool looking guy on there. I'm not quite sure who he is. Meets Jack T. Chance, the baddest Green Lantern of them all. So that's pretty sweet. So he's like a first appearance. And I don't know if they, uh, if he's still a Green Lantern. Maybe he died. I'm not sure. But pretty awesome to get that. And I like the art. And then, of course, another tale of Gnort and Alan Scott. 
Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.